you guys like your reading time song of the wind? Yeah, that was a nice story. I liked it. And we finally got to figure out what was going on with that crazy stack of bamboo. I was hoping for a swimming pool, but I was way off. Let's read what the directions tell us to do. Color the bubble beside the correct answer. Let's look at the first one. What makes you think that Maya was not silent? She asked about many things. She could hear the sound of crickets eating. What makes you think Maya wasn't quiet? She asked about a lot of things or she could hear the sound of crickets eating. Yeah, she was not silent because she asked a lot of questions, didn't she? Yeah. Okay, let's slide down to this one. What makes you think that grandfather worked hard? What makes you think that grandfather worked hard? He had help from Maya. He cut poles and pounded them into the ground. What makes us think that grandfather worked hard? Because Maya helped him or because he cut holes and pounded them in the ground? Yeah, the bottom one. That's how we know he worked hard. Okay, let's slide over here. What makes, so long A, silent E, what makes you think that Maya was happy? She cried? <laughs> she clapped her hands. What makes you think Maya was happy? She cried or she clapped her hands? Hopefully it's not because she cried. Because she clapped her hands. Good. Okay, let's read these directions. Number the sentences in story order. Okay. A lot of times, first graders get these wrong because it's hard. You have to slow down and think. And no kids like to do that. So let's, let's read them all first, okay? Grandfather cut holes into the poles. Did he do that first? I don't know. Let's read some more and see. So this one's he cut holes in poles. Grandfather and Maya took the poles out of the truck. Well, that would come before, right? You gotta take the poles out before you can cut holes. So this one would come before this, but let's keep reading. Grandfather pounded some poles into the ground pounded them into the ground. Seems like you would get them out of the truck, then cut the holes, then pound them in the ground. Maya heard the fence singing. Well, she can't hear the fence singing until it's made, so that's probably gonna be one of the last ones. Grandfather tied bamboo poles on the crossed poles. Hmm, what do you think happened first? Do you think he cut holes, took them out of the truck, pounded them in the ground, Maya heard the fence, or he put poles crosswise? Yeah, first he's gotta get them out of the truck. First, you gotta get everything out of the truck. Okay, once you get them out of the truck, what would you do next? Would you cut holes, 
pound them into the ground, hear the singing fence, or tie them to the poles. <laughs> I hope you would say cut the holes. You would cut the holes first. That's what grandfather did first. Now after he gets them cut, what would be next? He pounds them in the ground, Maya hears them, or he ties them. First he's got to pound them in the ground. He can't tie poles to them until they're pounded in the ground. Get it? All right, then what? Maya heard the fence singing or granddad tied poles? Yeah, first, before she would hear singing, he would tie the poles. And then last, she would hear the singing. Boys and girls, to get all these right, you have to go slowly and think it through. You have to think, hey, in order for me to have my poles, I got to get them out of the truck. Right? So you got to think, I got to get poles out of my back of my truck. Then you would need to cut the holes in them and put holes all through the poles. Then you would pick them back up and you would pound them into the ground and pound this guy into the ground. Now you've got your poles in the holes and you can take this guy and tie him crosswise like that. Then your little granddaughter can smile and listen to the music. So you got to do it in the correct order or it makes no sense. Well, let's flip the clock to the back of the box. This says listening. Draw a picture of something that makes a sound you like to hear. I know what makes a sound I like to hear. You draw something that you like listening to while I draw something I like listening to. I can hear McKinley's listening to science. She doesn't let me teach her. She likes to listen to it. What is Miss Parnell drawing? This is what I like listening to. My firsties. I like listening to my firsties. That's what I like listening to. And really, this is incorrect. This should be what you guys look like. You're always talking. <laughs> <laughs> and little bubbles should be coming out of your mouth. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. And I'll just do squiggly sentences because who knows what you guys are talking about half the time. Hmm? Some of you are talking about your baby dolls. Some of you are talking about goofy games you're playing. All kinds of things. All right. Then it says, explain why you like the sound. Now remember, push pause if you're still drawing. Well, I told you there's always clues. You might not, I need a full sentence. Don't write like, fun. What? What's fun? What's fun? Getting a spanking? I don't know. I have no idea what you're writing. So you have to like, you have to tell me a full sentence. You can't just write fun. Explain why you like the sound. I know how to write I. And I always skip a little space. I like. I like. There's always clues in the direction. I like the sound. Cool, I can just copy that. I like the sound of kids. C -c 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 -c. It's I like the sound of kids, period. And then I'm going to write this. I miss them so 
much. Period. My phone. P-H spells phone. Oh, that was your spelling word. You better know how to spell phone, Mr. and Missy. My phone does not smile. 